Hello everybody, welcome back to another video. Today, we're going to be talking about some of the key differences between the TI-84 Plus CE and the TI Inspire CX2 CAS Edition. One of the differences that you may notice is when using the Excel or spreadsheet feature in each respective calculators. So for the 84 Plus, we go there by clicking Apps and then Cell Sheet. The spreadsheet is useful for whenever you're making your mass properties tables and you can make them in your calculator here. However, in the 84 plus CE, as you can see here, you only get a few decimal places shown, even though you have more values inside the cell itself. However, if you go to the Nspire and you make an Excel, you get more decimal places. If you hover over it, for example, you get the precise value with many more digits after it. This is very useful, once again, with your match property tables. The TI Inspire has a touchpad here that you can use to man maneuver around the home screen. Whilst in the 84, you have to use the arrow keys to navigate the whole menu. Another key difference between the 84 plus CE and the Nspire is in the use of variables. In the 84 plus CE, you are limited to only naming a variable with one character. So if we want to do that, we would have to uh, make up a number. And then if we want to store that, we would click store and then press alpha to insert a variable. And let's say A, we click enter and that works. However, if we wanted to do, if we want to name it AB, and if we try that, it'll give you a syntax error. This limits you in the amount of variables that you can use, and this is not very helpful as you can't name your variable whatever you want. You're just limited through the characters A through Z. On the Nspire, on the other hand, you can name your variable whatever you want. So, Let's make some random number. And then in order to store the variable, we go control and click var. And then we can name this uh, anything we want. So let's say number. So n u m. And see, it's stored in the variable. And if we want to call it, we just type in the variable n u m and hit enter. And you see that's the variable that we got. Another cool feature of the Nspire that makes life a lot easier is the fact that you can use Control C and Control V like you would on a laptop or desktop. So in order to do that, we simply click Shift and then whatever direction you want and right, keep on doing that and you can highlight whatever number or equation that you want. Afterwards, you can copy it by pressing Control and then going down here to click C. And then we can paste it by doing Control V. Another difference between the 84 and the Nspire is in the use of the matrices. On the 84 plus CE, you would have to click second and then matrix. And then you can see here that you're limited by the number of matrices that you can create. In this instance, it's A, through J, which is 10 matrices that you can make. However, on the Nspire, you can make as many matrices as you want because you can name your variable anything that you would like. So for example, here, in order to make a matrix, you would go to Menu, then you go to Matrix, and Create Matrix. Click OK. Let's name it. Let's do some random numbers in there. And you can store that matrix by clicking Control var and then naming it whatever you want. You can call it by typing the same variable again, like so. One thing that you may have noticed with the Inspire, though, is that there is no trig functions on 
the keyboard here. One way to access the trig by, is by pressing the trig button here and then selecting whatever trig function that you need. An alternate and simpler way of doing it is just by typing out whatever you need. For example, if you need sign, you can simply type in sign and it will make the variable for you. And as you can see, sign of 90 is indeed one and it works. One of the last key differences between the NSPIRE and the 84 is the way that you can code your matrix inside the programs. In the 84, we first have to ensure that a matrix is already created. So we do second matrix, and let's use this A matrix here. And let's create a four by four uh, zero matrix. Now we can go and create our program by pressing program, TI basic, and creating a new program. Let's name this test. And now we can fill in our matrix by selecting a random number, let's say 47, and then clicking store, and then referencing that particular matrix by clicking second, matrix, and then selecting the A matrix we made earlier. Now, in order to reference the specific cell that we want this number to go in, we enter parentheses, and then the row and column that you want it in. Let's say the first row and the first column. And let's say we want another number, um, 36. And then we store it in the A matrix again. But this time, the second row by the third column. Now we can go back to the main menu. We can execute the program by clicking program, TA basic, and under exec, click the uh, correct program. Now that the program has ran, we can check if our matrix is correct. Go to second matrix and select the A matrix to display it. As you can see, 47 is in the right spot and the 36 is in the right spot. However, this can get tedious with larger matrices and we'll show you how the Enspire does it now. On the Enspire, you can create a new program by selecting Doc, Files, New Document, Add Program Editor, select New, give it a title, and then we can request for a user input by select, typing in request, and then giving it a dialog. And then we can store this into a variable, let's say L1. We can now put the L1 into the matrix by first giving the matrix a name. Let's call it LM1. We can store it by doing semicolon and equals. And then we can input a matrix by clicking the catalog button here. Make sure it's going under five and this little three by three matrix, click on that. And we can create a matrix however big or however small we want here. Let's make a four by four matrix. We can then visually simply insert the variable wherever we want the matrix and then just fill it with whatever you want. Now we can go ahead and display this by doing disp and then lm1, which is the name of our local matrix. In order for this to run now, we simply press control R and then select enter. Do 20 for the length of the member. And as you can see here, your matrix is made. From what I just demonstrated, you can clearly see that making matrices and populating different values into them is much easier on the NSPIRE compared to the 84. To wrap everything up, some of the differences between the 84 and the NSPIRE include better Excel spreadsheets on the NSPIRE where you get more decimal places and it's easier to use. 
the nspire, you can name the variables however you want, and you can make how many, many matrices that you want. But on the 84, you can only have 10 matrices. On the nspire, you can have control C and control V options. And also, the coding is much simpler on the nspire compared to the 84 in terms of matrices. Thanks for watching.